Hello, beta testers. So, I've been looking at the beautiful Marvel Future Revolution game. It's a mobile game, but if Fortnite and Genshin are running on phones and you could still play it at crossplay, PC, 4K, I'd be alright with something like that. Cause I'm looking at these trailers and they're already scratching that Marvel itch. Hmm. <laughs> Instantly showcasing characters people love and would expect to see represent the vibrant, varied visuals of Marvel. Hell yes. Was not broke, don't need fixing. You can instantly see the comic book influence, the movie influences. The very first trailer, it's clear, developer Netmarble recognizes Marvel's strength, the effortless appeal of their heroes, the excitement of potential team-ups, and the untapped infinite power of the multiverse, allowing for different incarnations of characters and places. Clearly, they have talented teams devoted to injecting the fresh but familiar Marvel style into different locations and skins to make them well worthy of the money that they may be asking of people? Attention to detail, faithful to the comic inspirations, a celebration of what we've known and loved for decades. Four heroes to show off, but I'm already loving these choices. The Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange lovers don't get to play strange enough. It'll be about damn time. The Webhead himself, hell yes. The only right amount of Spider-Man is more Spider-Man. Get that money. Captain Marvel, aka take my money if you have this skin. Yes. Oh, I see you are also a man of culture. The Brooklyn Brawler, Earth's mightiest hero. The super soldier, Captain America. Fit, lean, modest, heroic, plus ultra. This is how it's done. Wait a minute. Tony Stark, the real Tony Stark, everyone's favorite alcoholic. Not a huge drink, you know, just enough to loosen the man up, you know. He flies a little better, he fights a little better when he's relaxed. He has to flow like water. Oh, Roro Monroe. Beautiful, terrifying, the X-Men store. I mean, what, what, do we, you know, let's go, guys, you know. Black Widow and Star-Lord announced as launch characters to really have a little something for everybody. But I really love this lineup. Here's why. Strange, Danvers, Parker, Stark, Monroe, Rogers, Romanoff, and Quill. You can expect magic spells and curses, energy blasts and explosions, web shooting, web slinging, agile hand-to-hand -hand combat, repulsors, beams, and missiles, lightning and wind attacks, shield throwing, shield bashing, and hard hitting brawling, guns, grapples, grenades, and with at least three of these heroes, I can assume they'll have moves to restrain or momentarily compromise their opponents. This composition is so strong to me, not just because they complement one another in group play, but because they're effortlessly visually interesting. So when you're playing, it doesn't all boil down to feeling like you're all just punching and kicking, like in that disappointing Avengers game. I see locations that seem to be hybrids of iconic Marvel destinations, enemy factions like AIM, uh, Ultron's robots, alien monsters, Hydra. I see supervillains like the Red Skull, Baron Mordo, Modok, Green Goblin, Red Goblin, Yellow Jacket. Boy, maybe it's been a long time since I've had a good Marvel game to dig into. But I can't not think about Genshin Impact and the billion dollars it made in the last six months. It did this by granting players a meaty launch installment to really get into. And boy was the price right, if you know what I mean. Crossplay is a huge deal. Phones playing with PCs, playing with consoles. Come on, man. I don't know where Future Revolution is in development. I don't even know what to expect. But I do know that I hope they take their time to get this right. 
look at the landscape, look at the games that are out, appeal to the players. You have the data, you see what generates revenue, you already know that people will fund this. Consider marrying PC and console platforms, bringing crossplay just like Genshin has, because your mobile players will fund this hundreds of times over and your console players will boost and retain the game's relevance the way that the mobile players never could. Fortnite should show you how lucrative skins and even emotes can be for players who admit they rarely even play the game but didn't want to miss out on these events. Genshin should show you how thirsty players are for a vast and varied experience in an ever-changing world with new heroes and villains to encounter. One billion! Six months? Why? Because... Tons of beautiful characters. A huge, gorgeous map to explore with resources to harvest, power-ups to discover. A party with heroes you can switch between instantly. Heroes with abilities that stay on the field and affect the environment. Buffs, debuffs, summons to spice up battle. Camera coming off these characters for their ultimates, I mean, yeah. Make it an anime, please. Resources and loot worth grinding for. Crafting, guilds, factions, events, or to say all of this in one word, content. People want the kind of game they said this was gonna be and failed. But when games are rushed and miss the mark of what players want, no amount of hype or shilling will convince them otherwise. This looks good. And I'm invested in where this goes, but I hope Netmarble takes the time that they need to deliver a product that's equal parts finished, fun, social, and sexy. Take your time. The market will never be too saturated for a good Marvel game. This IP is on top of the world. Play to your strengths. And when you're ready, your audience will be there in massive numbers. You hear this music in the background? <laughs> it's from Genshin Impact. Independent of my appreciation of the game. I believe many individual aspects of Genshin. To have so much more effort and passion poured into it that the quality of this individual aspect is effortlessly leagues above the competition. The sense of adventure when you load up into this game, the freedom of exploration, stunning visuals, the insane momentum of combat, a living ecosystem quick to burn you, drench you, or rock you. People who haven't played Genshin Impact compare it to Zelda because of the visuals. But what if I confess to you that this game makes me feel the way Ocarina of Time did on N64? all those years ago. Like this is a step up instead of a step backwards. Some of the games we've gotten lately seem like they're made by people who don't respect gaming as more than a hobby, so why bother? But this is respectfully crafted art for your consideration. And it costs how much? Oh, nothing. This is the evolution. From one day looking at your passion looking like this, and waking up to it looking like this. You're making an open world RPG just like them, Netmarble. No pressure. But the blueprints have been laid out. They're right in front of you. How could you not succeed? <laughs> for better or for worse. <laughs> we are fucked. We're fucked. But... At least I'll have my Marvel game, and I can I have self-control, so I'm not gonna be so, you know. If they're gonna you can fund the game. You now watch me, you go fund the game. Thank you so much for watching. Keep me updated on everything that has to do with this game, because I'm as interested in it as you are. You can at me or the Discord link will be in a pinned comment below this video. Tell me in the comments who or what you specifically are looking for in a future Marvel game, and if somebody else commented, like it.
Like and stay ready, because you never know when there may be a future revolution. Ha, ha, ha.